I was debating if I was gonna tell you all this or not. Whatever. <gasps> mm -hmm. Okay, I'm having ideas. I love my new little patio setup so much. Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a weekend vlog. I'm feeling so much better than I left off the last one. I'm still a little stuffy, but I have energy. I haven't had a fever in a while. I'm feeling much better. So I am finally going to tackle decorating my patio. It's gonna, I think I'm gonna take you along for the whole weekend. It's gonna be a good one. I think I'm getting a Thrive Market box delivered this weekend, which I'm excited for. I always get excited for snacks. Um, I am partnering with them on today's video. And then I have in my chairs, I'm going into the pottery studio today to do open studio hours. So not a class, just like free time basically on the wheel. And I'm going with my friend Davina because she's in a different class at the same studio. Um, and you have to be a student to use the studio hours. But first thing this morning actually kind of has to do with the patio. Um, project because there is a Wi-Fi guy, Wi-Fi guy on the way. Um, he should be here in literally like any minute now because he is gonna uninstall my router and install a new one that's compatible with an extender because I currently don't get Wi-Fi on my patio. Whenever I'm out there, I have to use a hotspot and it's just super finicky. So in order to have the patio as like a little working space, we're gonna add an extender and hopefully I should be able to get Wi-Fi out there which will be awesome. So the goal is to like fully set that up before the weather is nice, be able to utilize it. Max is gonna love it. Speaking of weather being nice, it is rainy today, but I think it's only rainy this morning. I think it should clear up after that, but it's kind of like a nice little tea time vibe. So that's the plan for today, build furniture, maybe see if we have time to go to the nursery, get some plants with your tink bud. You smell my tea? You smell it? <laughs> My Thrive Market box is here. I have some things inside of this one that I was like refreshing, tracking, excited to get level of joy. <laughs> this time I saved $32.36 on this order, which is just, it's just mind blowing considering the fact that I have an annual membership, so I only pay $5 a month and I saved $32 on a single order because it really is the most convenient and the most affordable way to get really good groceries. They're an online organic grocery retailer. I get a lot of my pantry stuff here. This time I also got a beauty thing I was out of. Max loves a lot of their pet things. Really good clean cleaning supplies as well. Clean cleaning. I'm gonna show you a little haul. Um, these, so excited. I love these, I just ran out. These are the Mighty Pimple Patches from Hero Cosmetics. Also, Jordy's obsessed with these. I figured I'm going on the road with him in about a week, so it's good to have good, clean, healthy protein bars. A dozen bars, all the different flavors, which is really fun. Y'all know I go through these olives so quickly. They're so good, they're zesty Italian. Got a couple things from Simple Mills, other little individually packaged crackers, cause like I said, hitting the road here soon. So I love little throw in your bag snacks. These are also so good, these veggie pita crackers. By the way, all this is gluten free because I am celiac and I really recommend Thrive Market if you have any sort of dietary restriction because you could sort and filter by different search types. I think that there's literally over 70 different filters. You can say like vegan, gluten free, keto, paleo, peanut free, soy free, egg free, whatever and it will only show you the things that you can eat. So you don't have to read labels, which saves me so much time. Some of my other favorites, throw in the bag type of snacks, Mama Chia. Okay, I only got these once before, but I inhaled this whole baggie and they're crunchy, oh, they're good. I'm trying to learn to like tuna and I've just heard great things about this brand. So I trust it, I got this brand. I've had two different people come over to my house this week and ask me for a snack. And I say, grab anything from the pantry. They grabbed these and they were like, oh my gosh, those are so good. Just saying, testament in itself. Been on my edamame noodle game and this is the biggest treat to put on any sort of noodle. It's a truffle pomodoro sauce from Truff. Oh, it's so good. And then they, they let me choose a little gift when I was checking out. So I chose this oat milk vanilla nitro cold brew. I do still have a link and that will get you a couple things. It's gonna be down below, it's thrivemarket.com slash It'll get you 30% off your first order, as big of an order as you wanna make it, 
And then we'll also get you a free gift and that gift is valued at up to $60. So there's been some really awesome gifts I've seen them give out to people. Um, and it's fun to just, you know, see what you get. So thanks to Thrive for partnering with me on today's video. And I'll have that link down below. Okay, are you ready for this? So the patio furniture I ordered was not what I initially wanted yet again. I was gonna order the patio furniture and the couch from the same place at the same time. And yet again, went to go place the order and it was delayed till July. So I'm actually glad I found this because it's way cheaper. Let me first show you this chair from CB2. This is not the one I got, but these chairs are beautiful. They're literally $900 a chair. So for a set of two of these, it is $1,800. Look what I found on Amazon. I found a set of two of these total. What was the total cost? Okay, I paid $352 for both of these. So what, $175 a chair as opposed to $900 a chair. Are you ready for this? Look at how similar. Look versus this. CB2, Amazon, CB2. Amazon. It looks like maybe they're sold out right now, but I found the same furniture company on Google as well. So I'll link these for y'all, but I'm sure that they go fast because they're probably a really hot item. I'm really, I'm really pumped about that to build those, but I'm gonna run and get some meds and then we're gonna get to building. Ah, I got two of these and it is raining outside. So I think I'm gonna try to build them in here. And I really, 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 Really hope that it's not too laborsome. Too much for the rain. I wish I could breathe. Too much for the rain. I wish I was The chairs are built. The patio is simming cleaned. I'm gonna put them out there and assess, see what the size is, and kind of make a game plan for the things that I will want to get to like finish off the space. Like for example, I would probably want a side table to set a drink on, but these are so low to the ground that I'm gonna have to like feel it out. I also have those couple pots that I would love to put plants in eventually. So Excited to see how these look and like see what we think is right. Tight fit mix. Hey, bud. There's one. Sorry, bud. Hmm. Kind of playing around with the placement of these. I'm actually thinking about putting one in the corner and then the other one maybe just flat against the wall because this layout is a little tight right here and it's kind of blocking the um, power outlet situation so let's try this hmm. this outlet's really complicating things okay here's what we got for now this is what's really just kind of throwing things off a little i could do this a little bit Hmm. You see what I mean? But it's not bad. So I'm thinking maybe a potted plant in this corner, maybe a little side table situation, and maybe it would be cute to get like a lantern or something. I actually, I've decided that the floor print of my room, this guy is just like pretty in the way anywhere he is. People have tripped over him here. He looks too cluttered here. And I know a fiddle shouldn't probably be an outdoor plant, but I might demote him. What do you think? Maybe he'll be happy out there. Maybe he'll hate it. What do you think? I 
nothing looks awful. I don't know about the placement. Also, this bed is not intended to stay out there because he normally likes to sit on the furniture, but I don't know. He's looking pretty happy. <laughs> so he might have to stay out there. I gotta tackle all that trash and then I'll make a game plan as to where we should go, what we need, if we should even, or if we... Mmm. <gasps> Mmm, mmm, okay, I'm having ideas. I'm listening to the birthday album as I clean. It's so sweet. Just makes everything so happy. And it makes me a little teary still. But I successfully deconstructed all the boxes. Oh my gosh, it took three trips to the recycling. <laughs> okay, I put on a proper outfit because I'm gonna go run one errand to see what I can find for the patio before pottery tonight. Um, and what I'm picturing are, you know, those like concrete, I think I call them concrete tables that have like almost like a sometimes they have like a moroccan tile inspired design on them sometimes they have a more like mid-century design on them i had one in my old house's backyard i think i got it from urban um but i left it there during the move because it was chaos and um i feel like i've seen them at home goods or maybe tj maxx one of those types of spots and i feel like those are low and would add a pop of color outside. So I kinda wanna see if I can find a side table option, maybe some accessories like a lantern, maybe a little rug, although I don't know how, it's covered, so it's not gonna get like rained on out there. Um, and then maybe like a smaller pot to do like a trio of plants. Those are the things that, whenever you go to a store like Home Goods or whatever, you can't actually have a specific wish list. You just gotta see what you look into, but those are the types of things that I kinda wanna, keep my eye out for. Anyways, my brain's all over the place. I'm gonna take Max on a little walk, drink this matcha, and then we'll head out. How's that sound? This is my first outing in days. Days and days and days. Okay, these are actually perfect. So we get to choose between the white one, or this one apparently has a solar light on top and lights up, but I can't decide if that sounds really cool or a little chewy. <laughs> okay, now I'm finding this one, which is a lot shorter, and I'm actually thinking is a better scale. I think the other one's gonna be a little tall. Let me look at them next to each other, but I like how this is almost like a light green blue color. That is a big height difference. Hmm, this one's just a lot heavier, so it's harder to get upstairs. I also found this pot, which I think adds interesting texture and color. So I think there's a Home Depot nearby. I might just run there for a little outdoor plant because it's convenient um, and that way we could have the big pot and the small one in front of it and have like a little layered effect I think would be nice. I'm at Home Depot and the question is should I get aloe? It's kind of fun and useful. I went with the boxwood because I know that they're easy to keep alive but I thought this pot was bigger than it was. Oops. Maybe I can repot it later and figure it out but then I got this for the larger pot because it was flowering aloe vera. I think everything looks nice together. I think it's a good relaxing vibe. A little embarrassing story. There was quite a line at the self-checkout, but I was waiting in line and it's like self-checkout and then there's checkout over here. And um, the person over here left and so the guy was like, the employee was like, oh, this one's open. I said, okay, thank you. I walked over there, nobody was there. So I started scanning everything and then I hear, ma'am, ma'am, that's not a self-checkout. And I was so convinced that I was in a self-checkout that I was like looking around trying to figure out who they could be yelling at. It was me. The employee looked pretty, she like ran back over to her, her checkout and she looked pretty mad that I was doing her job. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I, it looks exactly like the self-checkouts and nobody was there and the guy told me to go there. I'm for sure gonna need my grocery wagon to get that table upstairs because that table, I swear, weighs like 80 pounds. But let's see, I think we have just enough time to do that before Davina comes over and then we go to pottery. Fun. We got the goodies. Um, all of the leasing office people were in the elevator at the same time as me and they were all like, is that an aloe vera? It's huge! It's the coolest thing I've ever seen! So I'm feeling really good about my purchase, but let's see if we can like kind of style these guys in the way that I picture them on the patio and just 
kind of get a vibe, see how it's feeling bit by bit. Actually, it's the perfect height. Glad I didn't get the taller one, that would have been weird. What do you think? Feels good? Okay. Kind of like that. If we really wanted to continue the greenery, I do have this fake olive tree. I have a feeling it might fit in this. Oh my gosh, that's crazy because I just had a monstera in this pot last. We could put this right here just to like give a little something something over here. Is it excessive to do one more plant on this? Because I actually have one in the kitchen that is, I feel like it doesn't belong in the kitchen. This guy, he's pretty cute and I like him a lot, but I do feel like he would be a good little plant addition. Kinda cute, kinda love it. I feel like eventually it'd be cool to hang something in this space because there's like a pretty big corner. I don't know what that would be. Maybe like a little like wickery type light. I could even do one that plugs in because there's a plug here. Maybe that's something that I get eventually. That could be, be pretty cool actually. But here's the final look at it for now. What do you think, Max? You like it? We got the fake olive tree. All these plants. And then, I feel like it's really peaceful. I really do like it a lot. Hey bud, good job. Max, one last question for you. Do you want a little rug here? Or is that like excessive? I think it would be nice, maybe like a jute rug eventually. Even circular or oval would be kind of fun. Hmm. Good little plants. We're walking from pottery to get soup. <laughs> soup. And this is a spot called Soup Peddler that has a really great, they all, I think they have regular, but they have vegan and gluten-free grilled cheese. And it's so good to dip in soup. Did you get your soup? I did. Are you a happy, a happy Ooh. soup girl? Happy Ooh. soup girl. You wanna eat it here? Take it to my spot. I'm great with either. Should we just eat it here? Just eat it here. It's like While the grilled cheese is yeah. crispy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, this is vegan and gluten free. Let's see if I can get a cheese pull. Oh, it's really hot. Ah, it's so hot. This I'm excited about. I don't remember what all it has in it, but I think it has like lime, pineapple, and like greens. Shouldn't cure anything. I needed that. This is literally just like pureed a ton of vegetables. <laughs> Everything's hot, but good. I was debating if I was gonna tell you all this or not. Whatever. I'm just gonna continue to just overshare my whole life on the internet. Um, it's 10 a.m. on Saturday, and I've already been out for hours because I was first in line in urgent care this morning because after getting sick, I got a new staph infection on my leg and it is MRSA. I feel like with my body, especially when I get a little bit sick, it's just like one thing after another, after another, after another. It's like when it rains, it pours. And I have a theory that I get them a lot from like nicking myself when I shave. So I'm actually kind of seriously considering <laughs> investing in full laser hair removal, like everywhere, legs, underarms, everywhere, because I'm wondering if that'll help reduce my little like nicks and cuts, which would reduce my number of staph infections. But in case you missed my um, video about the surgery I'm doing in May, thankfully I'm doing this full decolonization protocol to help try to rid of the overgrowth of staph and MRSA in my body. So I just got some lab work done, but we're literally doing like oral antibiotic for a couple weeks pre-op and then this like decolonization. I think it's also an antibiotic nasal swab twice a day for two weeks pre-op. And then they're doing like an antibiotic IV of some sort, some sort of heavy duty one during the procedure. So hopefully I should be much more decolonized and um, 
get fewer after the surgery and honestly just doing that alone is so worth the surgery. <laughs> I'm gonna stop complaining now and tell you my plan for the day is to lay pretty low because clearly my body still needs rest and healing after being sick. There are a couple errands I run around this morning and then I have nothing till tonight. I have a friend's birthday, but it's lit. It's Davina who was in the vlog yesterday. Her birthday party's tonight, but it's literally in my building. So I think I'm just gonna swing by for an hour and make sure I'm to bed early. But this morning, all my body wants is farmer's market bone broth. The, um, the duck egg seller also sells bone broth. They have like chicken, pork, and beef. And nothing compares, nothing compares. It is the best. It's even better than the butter bone broth from Picnic. And ever since I've had it, I'm like, I just crave it, especially being a little under the weather the last couple weeks. So I think I'm gonna try to trek out to the farmer's market before they close today and pick up like five pints <laughs> of bone broth. And then Davina's party tonight is potluck. Lord knows I don't have time to cook. So I'm gonna see if there's anything like frozen that I can just pick up, pop in the oven and bring over, especially since it's in my building. Those are the plans. I look like a mess. I am a mess. I'm such a mess. Restful Saturday, bone broth Saturday. These are my hopes. New, very strong antibiotic Saturday. I love and I absolutely despise antibiotics. They save my butt every time and I hate them. <laughs> but I'm thankful for them. I'm, thank I'm thankful for them. I just don't like the way they make my tummy feel. I'm gonna get decent and I'm gonna wear a dress today to feel happy and cute. Okay? Okay. I just got home. This was at my door. And it's a gluten-free chicken bowl from my favorite spot picnic from Jordy. I think he, he knew that I was like wanting protein and food and it's just so sweet. I can't wait to try. I haven't tried this from them, but it's rare that I get to have like battered chicken. It's such a treat to find that like celiac safe. Let's try some of this. And then I'm gonna tell you what I figured out for the potluck tonight because I am so impressed. I don't know if you're supposed to pour this on top or dip it. We're full sending. What even is it like a, couldn't even begin to guess what that is, but it's good. It's like surprisingly sweet, but it's green and creamy. Anyways, mm. this is what I need. Thank you, Jordy, for the potluck. You wanna hear what I ended up getting. I'm so proud of this and I'm gonna do this for every potluck moving forward. I got frozen tamales. They're literally 50 cents a piece, so I'm bringing 48 tamales for the price of $24 and it feels like special and it feels like a full meal and it's gluten free. I can actually eat it, but you don't have to cook it. You just steam it. So like there's no preparation. There's, I don't know. It feels just very friendly and easy and very cost effective and can feed a lot of people. So I'm, I'm proud of that plan. So if you have a potluck or some sort of dinner coming up soon, go check out frozen, frozen tamales. <laughs> What does my life come to? <laughs> I'm excited about that. This is so good though. Mm -hmm. You know what it's time for, Max? It is time. <laughs> it is time for tidy time. And what's funny is a couple of my friends were over the other day and they're like, Mikkel, why is your house always so clean? And I was like, first off, it's not. It gets like to be a wreck every single day, but it really does help to vlog as a job because if I commit to a cleaning montage, I'm not gonna give up halfway through. I'm gonna finish the montage because I, I started it and the vlog just wouldn't make sense. So thank you guys to being my motivation and my accountability. And hopefully it's just satisfying if you are on the side of TikTok like me where your whole for you page is just people either doing their cleaning routines or their skincare routines or cooking. That is my whole for you page. So if you're one of those people, let's be productive. Let's get that satisfaction, okay, okay.
love my new little patio setup so much. Um, that was clean, feeling good. I'm actually gonna knock out some of the emails that I never got to yesterday before steaming tamales and going over to the birthday. And it's so nice, don't even have to leave this building. But I'm trying an interesting experiment of putting my backpack in the washing machine because I'm about to be taking it on flights and all sorts of things. It was looking gross and it probably is very gross. So we'll see how that goes, but it's very loud in the washing machine, which is why I'm out here and which is why I'm also deciding to end the vlog now because that was a loud mistake, but hopefully well worth it but I feel like we got a lot of good hang time. We built a whole patio, we went to pottery, we got soup, we went to the farmer's market, we did a lot. And so thanks again to Thrive Market for partnering with me on today's video. Oh my God, I will have that link down below to get 30% off your first order and then that free gift valued it up to $60. It's easy, you can type it in too if you want, thrivemarket.com slash Mikkel Jancy. And there's a big dog barking big barks out there. And Max is very intrigued, okay. I'll see y'all, I'll see y'all on tour. That's so exciting. Okay, bye.